Alright, here we go. Got another fucking unboxing. Another Romero Rocks edition of Hillbilly DVD Reviews and Box Series. Today we're going to have the Synapse Films, not just Synapse Films, the SynapseFilms.com exclusive re release of the definitive Document of the Dead. Of course, the film by Roy Frumkis, as you know. I've had this on DVD for years. I was excited that it fucking came out on Blu ray eventually, you know. They got the original cut of the original version of document on Blu-ray. And then they got also a DVD, which is a new expanded cut. Not just the expanded cut that was on DVD before, but it even has new shit. Uh, interviews with Romero, I believe, from Land of the Dead or something. So here we go. As usual, I'm hoarding up now. This was a limited release or whatever. So I got one to fucking watch. I got one to fucking keep. But, like, that's another thing, though. I don't know. This definitely, like, I ain't complaining. Because I've wanted this movie forever. But man, the shrink wrap on this, they did this in somebody's fucking garage. They really did. And then I got the extra one to either trade or give away as somebody's birthday gift or something somewhere down the line. So here we have the cover. Really cool new cover. They kind of took, you know, old picture of George and then they put in all these zombie hands. I don't know if you can see this real good, but the zombie hands are actually ripping out George's guts. But instead of just regular guts, they're actually ripping out bloody like pieces of film strips and shit out of his guts. So it's kind of fucking cool. Got just a regular spine here, very cool. Got uh, Roy Frankis, his old girlfriend that's in the movie. I want to say her name was Sookie or some shit. Snooky? No, it wasn't Snooky. Snooky's from Jersey Short. I think Suki was her name. They show in the documented that her getting made up for her scene. On the back, probably too small for you to read and shit. You just have to get the fucking thing. But, you know, nice little packaging snaps did on this blurry. Open it up. First thing, they included uh, a poster. It actually looks like it's going to be a nice size poster of the new artwork that they did. Please forgive me. I cannot remember the artist's name. It's on here somewhere. But the artist, there it is right there. Wes Ben Scott. Ben Scott? Wes Ben Scott. There you go. Awesome art, Wes. You probably won't ever see this review, so you probably won't be mad at me for fucking up your name. But you did an awesome job, buddy. Great creativity. I love it, man. As a Romero fan, definitely. Love that. First we got the, this is the Blu-ray right here. Document of the Dead, the original cut. Says, not rated 66 minutes. Like I said, this is the original Document of the Dead cut. Roy Frumkis made in 1971 ever. According to Roy, it's supposed to look beautiful. There's the picture desk looking very nice, I think. I like it a lot. Here we have the DVD set, which has the whole new cut. That This is, this is the original Document of the Dead and this is the definitive cut. It's only on DVD. Why is it only on DVD? Well, because the new interviews that Roy shot, uh, well, they're not new. They're from Land of the Dead time, I believe. That, you know, he shot them on a mini DV camera, which you know is not HD. So, like, they were like, fuck the Blu-ray, whatever. But either way, you got the original historical version here on Blu-ray high def, and you got the DVD. Got some nice artwork inside for, you know, just a normal plastic case edition. So that's it for the Synapse Films. Uh, sorry, I don't know. I ordered this like literally the second it came up and shit, so I don't know if these are still available. If not, you can always hit eBay. Uh, you probably pay a little more on there, but you know, if you don't act quick, that's how it goes. So, check, so if you want this, if, if you didn't know this was out, check out synapsefilms.com. That's the only place you can fucking buy this. Check it there first if they don't have it. I believe this was $30, which hey, it ain't cheap, but look at all the cool shit you get, and plus it's limited, I believe. 1500 or something way less than even a fucking twilight time so document the dead support george romero man fucking one of my favorite directors of all time document the dead happy to have it fucking on high def